YouTube, it's Escarlet01 here back at you with another video. Today's video, just like I promised, is the Effa tutorial that I'm bringing to you guys today. I hope you guys get a lot from this tutorial and blend in your La Effa so ever so naturally. So let's get started. I just washed my hair guys, so my hair is a little bit, still a little bit damp. But I was like, you know what, I have to, I have to put this tutorial up for you guys. So um, here we go. My hair is in six plaits all together, but three on each side, like that, like this. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and in the front, I took a little bit of hair, not so much because it is a protective style, and you don't want to have so much of your hair out. So. Um, I took a little bit of the hair out. It's not even parted evenly, but I think it's okay. Unless you actually want your part a certain way, then you would part it out to the side or whatever, any way that you would like. So yeah, I took a little bit of the hair out and I twisted it. So it's four twists, two on each side like that. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going, oh, my twist is up, sticking up. Ha, ah, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to take my, um, big cap and I'm going to place it over my hair but not covering the front of the twist. I'm going to only cover it basically the back of the hair. So I'm going to put that wig cap on like that and I'm going to make sure I tuck my hair in and guys as you can see I parted my hair and did it in a way so that my head is like flat and it's not like bushy or like fluffy on top because even though it is a curly wig you still want your hair to be as flat as possible so I'm just going to stick this wig cap on my hair like that and I'm just going to tuck in the hairs make sure my hair is tucked in yeah so that's tucked in okay and this is my afro right here there she is and you guys can check out my um, first video on the Effa if you want to get more information about her. But this video is just specifically on the tutorial and blending. So yeah, this is her. And like I said before, she has combs in the front and she has combs in the back with an adjustable um, draw, um, drawstring. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put it on. And you can use the um, comb if you want. You don't have to. But I choose to. I just want that extra secure measure. And I'm also going to use a drawstring also. So you just stick her on. And here's the comb, guys. And you put her underneath the wig cap. Like that. See? It's underneath the wig cap. And I'm not going to use the back combs. But I am going to use the um, adjustable dress out strings. I'm going to take off my glasses. And right now what I'm looking for, I'm just looking for the other drawstring. There it goes. And I'm just going to snap them in together. And you guys will know when they, yeah, so like right now, they're like, wow, they're good. So, yeah, and now you just, see, let's see. Oh, I didn't do it tight enough. So I'm just going to take it out. Okay, so yeah, she's really secure. She's not going anywhere, like I said. Let me put my glasses back on. Yeah, so this is her. And you guys can see that I have um, the front twisted. Okay, now you can either blend her or you can do this. I have two ways that I'm going to show you how I rock La Efra. So, starting with my twist, what I would do, how I would rock her if I wanted, I would just stick back my twist like that, and I would just body pin her, just like that. 
okay? And then I will do the next side just like that. And when I body pin her, she's like really secure and tight. So yeah, you can do it this way, okay? Or if you really, really wanna do the blending, you can, let me just take the body pins out, and you can just unravel your twist. You can add more twist if you like, or you can add even less twist if you like. But me, I just stick to my, I love even numbers, so I just stick up with four even twists okay so right now I'm just taking out the twist see that and you can finger comb her like that and even wear um, a headband if you like I'm just gonna go get a headband right now hmm. I could just use this one Oh, I have a little shine. You guys know, I like putting it right for the black and white. But yeah, you can use a headband like this and rock her out. You can even still twist her with your natural hair. like that you can even there's just guys there's so many ways to blend your effort it's so easy and it's it's just I love it or you could just leave it free like that if you like but since in my first little effort video, I did wear her with a headband, so I'm going to rock her free. Like that. So you can't even see it. And I like to use my Shea Moisture um, Thickening Moisture Mist. Okay, and just fluff her up. You can even add um, combs, different combs, um, um, different headbands. Um, you could do so many things that you like. But like, like today for this video, I'm just gonna wear her freely because I just it's just one of those days I feel like wearing it like this. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I just wanted to get straight to the point. I know many of you are going to run out there and get this, purchase this wig because it's beautiful. And please look out for my um, La Apple tutorial and my La Apple review. It's going to come up soon. I'm going to try my bestest to put it up for you guys and just enjoy the rest of your day guys. I love you too. Peace and blessings. Yeah, guys, so when you finish taking off La Efra, you want to, you know, make sure when you take off your wet cap, make sure that by the end of the day, your hair is still moisturized and, you know, still feeling good. And, like, what I like to do is um, add some, of, some olive oil into my scalp, and I just let that oil penetrate my scalp, and then I take maybe, like, a, a smidget full of the olive oil, and I get my ends. And I do this because I just want to make sure that my natural hair, which is the most important, is moisturized and that the ends are sealed in. Because even though you're wearing a protective style, guys, you want to make sure that your natural hair is in a good state. Um, earlier when I did these two twists, when, earlier when I did these four twists, I'm sorry, I added, I used my um, Shea Moisture Curl and Shine um, Milk. And so I'm not going to add any more product because I don't need any. So what you want to do, you just want to 
retwist your hair. Nothing fancy, just retwist it. Just retwist it. Okay. And you just want to retwist it so that the next day when you do your hair again, your, the front of your hair still has that beautiful curl definition to be able to blend in easily with La Afro. And you just want to just always make sure that your hair is always protected. I mean, the purpose of wearing the wig is to preserve length, to protect, and to protect your natural hair. So if you're just wearing the wig and not protecting your natural hair, you're actually defeating the purpose of it being a protective style wig. Okay. I just twirl the ends and I'm just going to do my last twist and you don't have to use the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine um, milk you can use whatever product you use for your twist outs or braid outs or anything use whatever you like okay so yeah I look a little crazy, but yeah, so this is it. And then at night, where do you go? Well, I can't find her right now. Oh, there she goes. I'll just, after doing that, put on my satin bannet. Satin bannet. Put on my satin bannet. And that's it. I'm ready for bed. And my hair is protected. And I put La Effa back into her package. And that's it. And then the next day you do it all over again. So yeah, YouTube, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video.